it. Hold him tight. Hold him. Damn. You have to be professional. Ah! Hi, guys, and welcome to Untamed. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Emma, and this is my naughty dog, Nico. And this is the best place to find all the funniest, scariest, and cutest animal clips, like this. And like this. Would you not eat my pants? Ah! Today we're taking a look at straight up bad animals, like this puppy. You have to be professional. But before we start, Nico's got a little message. Go on. They should do it, shouldn't they? He said, yeah. Today we're taking a look at straight up bad animals. These are animals that can't be trained and don't listen when you say stop pooing on the carpet. It's a bit like my dad. When will he learn? Right, before we get started, it's time to play What Happens Next. I'm going to show you a clip and I want you to comment below what you think's going to happen. This is Marnie, who's a little bit excited. Have you guys commented yet? We're going to reveal the answer at the end of the show. And if you get it right, you could win a million Hello? <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Uh, bit of bad news. We don't have a million pounds. But if you do guess it right, Barnaby, who runs the YouTube channel, will like your comment. Amazing! Right, next up, we've got some bad dogs who are excellent at stealing food, which also happens to be my favorite hobby. Sometimes it's best to share the food, but these dogs have other ideas. <laughs> were pretty cheeky, but they do say don't work with babies or animals. But no one warns you about working with a guy called Barnaby who puts flour in your coffee. <laughs> Barnaby! Not again! Right, moving on. I challenge you not to laugh at this next video. And if you get to the end without laughing, let me know in the comments below. Barnaby! One of 500 birds that are being judged today at the show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah! Come a little closer. Do I'm gonna stay over here by Joni. Do they know each? Do they no. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. Hold him. I am. I am. Hold him tight. I am. I am. You got it. I am. Oh, it's okay. All right. All right, Joni, you got it. Oh, well. And this cat has actually been entertaining us in the studio for about 15 years. <laughs> From the Manatee County Fair, Linda Carson, ABC7. Would you not eat my pants? Ah! <laughs> Rala at eight. Lake Ozark coming in at nine. Griffey wants to play. We all know some straight up bad animals, but did you know hippos fling their poo around to mark their territory? Wombat's poo is cube shaped. Capuchin monkeys pee on their hands and then use it to wash their feet. So it's okay when they do it, but when I do it, it's You're making a mess! Get out of the restaurant! The children are crying! This is disgusting! Blah, 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 blah! She's hitting the streets. She's combing the town. This roving report has got it going on down. It's time for our roving reporter. This week, she's asking pigeons some hard-hitting questions. It's me, by the way. You can tell because she's really pretty. Good day. Today I'm on the streets of North London interviewing one of the most intelligent creatures around. They've won Nobel Peace Prizes for their brain power, passed all their exams with flying colours. That's right, I'm talking to pigeons. And today, we're going to chat about Brexit. Come with me. This way. If we're exiting the European Union, where are we going? Is it going to be a hard or a soft Brexit? Whoa! They're not sure. They're not sure. Come on. One statement is all I need. All flap, but no solid answers. It's time for the mailbag. It's mailbox time, so let your personality shine. You do you. Handily, right down here. Thanks, Moose. Letter number one. 
is from Bartholomew the Lion. Oh, hey. Dear Emma, being a lion, everyone thinks all I love is raw meat, but actually I like nothing more than a quinoa salad with a side of beetroot. Love it. In fact, honestly, I class myself as more of a vegetarian these days. How can I broach this when invited to dinner parties without being seen as a tricky dinner guest. Kind regards, Bartholomew the Lion. I'm also vegetarian, Bartholomew, so like, hey. If people don't like it, get rid of them. They're not being very nice to you. You need to find some nice new friends. You know who I'd recommend? Gazelles. The local gazelles have probably been really scared of you. When they hear this news, they're gonna be like, yes, this is really great. We can now be friends with Bartholomew. I do think you need to still be getting some protein into your diet. Eggs, halloumi, great cheese. You do you. Letter number two. This is from Owen, the house spider. Dear Emma, I'm struggling to make friends. When people see me, they scream and run away, or even worse, attack me. Same. Yes, I'm hairy with eight legs, same. But that's just six more legs to hug or tickle people with. I've tried it all, even building impressive webs, but people just dust them away. Do you think perhaps getting a cool tattoo would help? Whoa. The tattoo thing in my head doesn't really link. You don't need to be doing that. That ink will last for life. You really need to consider this carefully. And I don't think that I'm qualified to give you the right advice. Eight legs is a great amount for a hug. I would really appreciate a hug every now and then. They're hard to come by sometimes. Come over to my house one time. I'll make us some lovely quinoa and Beat Rue will have a great time. You do you. Have a great life. And that was the mailbag. You do you. Remember earlier when we showed you the what happens next video? Of course you do. It was only five minutes ago. Anyway, it's time to find out what happens next. Biodiversity of all of our wildlife along the coast here in Australia. And, um, this is Marnie, who's a little bit excited. Ah! <laughs> you love it. <laughs> Let me go. You love it. <laughs> <laughs> did you get that right? Because if you did, you've just won a million pounds! Yes! Oh. Hello. Hi, Barnaby. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Oh, for goodness sake. You guys, we spent all the money on plants and this man! What a waste! We've got nothing to give you, but if you did get it right, really well done. Really well done. Really well done. Guys, you've been watching Untamed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Percy? How did you get back in here? No! Why do birds suddenly appear? I imagine when he walks, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That has got to be it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>